Hi guys, Retro Jango here. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. Today, we're gonna take a look at my Mega 500 Plus with the new sidecar expansion that I just got home. Now this Mega 500 Plus, I you actually use the ACA 500 with, with it. And I mean, from, Yeah, from back in the 90s, these sidecar expansions, they were just, they were just incredible to have hard disk expansion, RAM expansion, maybe an accelerator card inside. And I have, from back then to today, to, and until today, I have been in love with them until individual computers, Jens presented us with the ACA 500. After the ACA 500, all of these, they just got obsolete. <laughs> Same day for me. <laughs> but I still think they're magical, guys. I still, I mean, it's probably because of the nostalgic reasons. Um, because with the ACA 500 Plus, you can have a 30, 40 megahertz accelerated card, a processor, two megabytes, eight megabytes of RAM, two compact flash solutions. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's great. But these old expansions uh, from back then, they're just, they have a special place in my heart, guys. And I just want to have them on my YouTube channel and share them with you guys. So on my Facebook page, Commodore 64-Amiga Retro Jingle. Um, come on in and join, guys. Come on in and join. I'll add everybody. <laughs> if you have retro love in you, you're welcome. Uh, one of the guys in there had this one for sale. Where did it go? Listen to some different songs in the background. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. So. And I bought it, and it was so cheap. <laughs> and it just got home. I got this disc included. It says Amiga Multi Evolution 500 Install Disc from Microsystems 1991 version 2.2. .2. All right. Before we connect it, I'll just open and take a look inside that everything is all right after the shipping. So, as I can see, it has got these, that's for the hard disk inside, and this is for the top. So let's open this bad boy. And we're gonna let the Paula chip play some great Amiga tunes in the background, I mean, I love that one. I love Amiga music. Everything with Amiga is just great, guys. All right. There we go. So, as you can see, it's got a LED indicator up top. That means we have some cables. So I have to be thoughtful. Plenty of cable guys, okay. Oh, nothing, not much to see here. Okay, the cable is attached down here. So we got a SCSI hard disk inside, mounted four screws. It says one GB up top here, so it's one gigabyte. And it has two RAM blocks here, fully populated as I can see. Also look here, Samsung RAM. And on the back side, as you can see, a ribbon connector and a power connector. As I can see, we don't have any fan to cool the hard disk down. So I will keep an eye on that and an external connector on the back side also. So it's not, yeah, not that much inside guys, but the 
Let's just connect this one and see how it goes. <laughs> All right, as you can see, pretty easy. I will just check out the um, ACA 500 and I will just push the, the new the new one in. All right, guys, I just installed it on the side of the Amiga and we can hear the hard disk spin. Oh, it says something, something from August 1992, unit 01 timeout. What was that? <laughs> okay, the LED indicator, it, it blinks when the hard disk loads. That's nice. And it shows that the power's on. That's nice, guys. So let's see what, what this drive contains. This is the first power up. Nice. Ah, uh, we are. Oh, I'm quick. Is it back drop? I don't remember. Yeah, alright. Okay, it looks good. Now, these two megabytes of chip RAM up top, they're built in my Mega 500 Plus. If I don't have two megabyte chip RAM, I don't want to use that Amiga. It's just a must for me. And this uh, sidecar expansion, as you can see up here, it has got eight megabytes of fast RAM. Now this makes it possible to play double H little games, guys. Oh, look at the loading speed. Now I'm pretty anxious to know if, to know about the reading speed of the hard disk. Let's just see how many megabytes first. Uh, nothing found. All right. <laughs> um, programs, let's see if we have, yeah, sysinfos here, guys. That's nice. Amiga to PC, Final X, Gear Opus, People Player. I hope there's some new songs inside. This info version 4 come on oh I have some blinking issues two seconds guys there we go I hope it's okay that uh, let me see how it looks yeah it's okay okay ECS X is 2 megabyte let's check this out memory we'll just Move the camera just a tad, guys. There we go. Yeah, okay. I hope that's better. <laughs> okay, we have eight megabytes of fast RAM. That's nice, and we have two megabytes of chip RAM. Beautiful. And if we take the speed, then you can see it's a standard 68,000 CPU running at seven megahertz. And it's just, yeah, now we're talking. And as you can see, <laughs> it scores 700 dry stones. <laughs> it runs as an Amiga 2000 with a built-in hard disk and yeah, you know how it is. Uh, M-flops not available, that's because we have no FPU. Here you go, FPU, no, that's why. Now, the most important test, guys. Zero 02, of course. Microsystems Zero, Amiga 500, Amiga 2000 did not have Zoro 3, so yeah, they use Zoro 2 boards. Okay, I've been looking forward to this. Now we just press hard disk here and press speed test. And it should, it makes reading sounds. Oh, it's crashed. <laughs> that should be. Oh man, that's just, yeah, under 700, yeah, 700 kilobytes <laughs> per second. I mean, back in 1992, it must be great, but it's just too slow today. The compact flash card solution they read with 2.5 megabytes per second and 
I, when you have used compact flash cards, then this feels like it's just so slow as you can see, guys. Ah, that's a bummer. When, uh, when it reads about 1.5 megabytes per second, then it's a decent uh, reading speed. But this, this feels too... I don't know how to say it. It just feels so slow to work with. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Games. Yeah. This must be double HT dot games, guys. That's nice. As you can see, it come on. Dear Opus Utilities. Nice man. Disc, what's that? Alright, some different products. N nice setup. Double HD load, yay! And you get game launcher. I love that loading sound from the SCSI hard drive. It's loading. <laughs> yeah, but remember, the CPU is still a 7 megahertz CPU. That's, that's also why that it's so slow. Let's try and hit the player. My files. Oh, we have some different 35 songs here, guys. Nice. We got Alien Breed 2. We got Blood Money Cas Engine. Nice. Music system. Version. Wait. Ugh. Oh man, that hard disk is just. <laughs> yeah. Quit that. Come <laughs> on. It's it's slow. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have data over here. We have games. Why are we these? Yeah, let's check out WSD load. Only one time. Oh, show all files. Clean up. Hmm. All right. Oh man, it's slow. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, there we go. Can you hear it? The loading sound? Eighteen point two WHD load. It's it's not that old. It's registered. That's nice. I think I'm using eighteen point five today. Yeah. Did it crash? Did it die? It's not loading. Decrunching something. Ah, there we go. gameplay video video with, with Canon for the Sunday. When I made other gameplay videos you guys said that gameplay videos just sucked. You didn't want to watch other people play. So I just stopped making them but um, oh man if you are used to use AGA Amigas that are pumped up with accelerated cards and compact flash and RAM and all that then this feels slow, but still, again, nostalgic reasons, it's just magical to listen to the reading sound and actually the spinning sound of the hard disk is also, I don't know, nostalgic reasons, guys. Um, yeah, I'm an old guy, that's, that's why I like it. One of my favorite Amiga What's it called? Music? Melody? Love this one.
new can fathers coming in <laughs> it works nice nice purchase i'm happy with this one another sidecar expansion for the mega 500 and i have it on my facebook uh, youtube channel i love that that's just this game guys this game was just back in 1993 So you walk pressing the left mouse, mouse button and shoot with the ho uh, right. Look at that bird, that's a gigantic dinosaur bird. Oh, and you can't shoot when you're in the water. And you can actually, it's not a good idea to walk like this because when they shoot the guy at the back he will die so you can take these two and cut them up as you can see here and, th and this guy over here he can actually protect himself but all your Amiga lovers users you know this game you played this game back in the 90s didn't you <laughs> you love this game oh, oh, oh. Yeah. nice thank you for watching guys i just want to say i hope you will subscribe so you can say hello to me on my next video. Have a great day guys. Bye.